is our third annual leadership gathering, and uh, we do this, organizing this with the First Nation Leadership Council, the summit and the assembly, uh, and uh, the Union of uh, BC Indian Chiefs. And I want to thank them for, uh, for their work and for the efforts that we've done to bring this all together here today. One third of all the nations in Canada are here in British Columbia, and this is an important part of coming together and talking about how we build together and how we look towards a reconciliation. Today we are here with all of our cabinet, with all of our deputies, 203 First Nations represented in the room. I want to thank John Rustad and his staff in particular because um, last year they organized 156 one-on-one -on -one meetings between uh, First Nations chiefs and um, members of our government, members of our cabinet. This year, um, it's 300 meetings that they've organized and they are so important as part of this process because while we speak in the room about the issues that are common to all of us, each one of you represents a unique community with a unique vision for what you want to achieve. And when we meet one-on-one, -on -one, we get an opportunity to talk about the unique ways that we can work together to help you achieve that vision. We need to act like we mean what we say and to take some calculated risks. I challenge everyone to walk together to move to an era of Crown Indigenous relationships. It is a challenge that I know we are up for and that I embrace in what some are calling an age of recognition, and it will be transformational. I'd like to thank all of you in this room today for choosing the path that will lead us to reconciliation because our history is shared, but our future is undoubtedly going to be a much brighter one if we find a way to share it that truly reflects the respect that First Nations are deeply owed. Thank you very much.